everyone. Hi. I'm Kayla. And I'm Kristen. And together we are K and K Create. Create. Welcome to our channel and thank you for watching. So today, tonight, actually it's evening, Kayla and I have decided that we are going to work off of the same color palette. So we've chosen a variety of blue shades and some metallics, and we're gonna do two different techniques using the same colors, right? Yep. So um, I'm going to be working with um, a flip cup pour, and Kayla is going to be doing. I'm, I'm going to be an. I'm going to be doing an open cup for the first time. An open cup. So we're gonna give that a try. Uh, with Kayla doing her first open cup pour, which is so exciting. So um, I hope you enjoy the video and please, if you enjoyed it, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't. Um, we appreciate you watching. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have flooded Kayla's 12 by 12 inch canvas with black. Yeah. Because that's going to be our base color, right? Yep. Um, I'm actually going to torch it real quick to get out any air bubbles. Yep. Watch out. Okay. okay. I just put butane in this, so it's very powerful. Put what okay. in there? I put the gas for the torch. Oh. All right. So, Kayla's going to tell you what colors we're using. First, we're going to... First up, we have Deco Art Americana Decor Sterling Silver. Metallics, yeah. Yeah, metallics. I forgot to say metallics. Okay, next. We also have Deco Art America Decor Americana Decor Metallics Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Deep Sapphire. Then we have Liquitex Basics. Wait. Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic. Prussian blue hue. Then we have Academy Acrylic Turquoise Green. And last of all, we have Golden Artist Colors Interference Blue. Yeah, we're excited to see what this does because we've we have never no used idea. it before. We have no idea. And then a little I bit of think black. I think interference blue is like a white color, but it shines blue in different colors. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Okay, so we mix our paints, 50% um, Floetrol, 25% paint, and 25% water. For Kayla's open cup pour, I've thinned out her paint just a little bit more with water. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we get a nice flow. Yep. All right, and we have our open cup. Right here. So where do you want to put your cup? I could do corner to corner. You want to start up here? Yeah. All right. Are you sure it's going to go here though? Well, we'll, we'll try to make it go that way. It's going to go wherever it wants to go. Yeah. But we can kind of, kind of give it a nudge. Yeah. Where we want it to go, right? I could just flick it. Right, you could just nudge it a little bit. Yeah. So you want to start up in the corner? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to plop it right there. <laughs> This is my first time. That's her first time. She's very excited. So we're going to pour a little bit of black just around um, the edges, the base of the cup. Yep. And you got okay. a little bit on the cup, but That's it's fine. fine. All right. And we're going to put a little bit of black inside. Okay. Yeah. So what color do you want to start with? I want to start out with some sapphire. Some sapphire? Is that, are you sure that's one so far? I'm oh, yeah, sure. That's, that is so far. All right, so you're gonna pour it okay. from up high? From up high? And not all of it, oh, okay? Just a little bit. Right.
Not too much. Go. Okay, it's starting. It's starting a little bit. Yeah, it's starting. All right. Can you see the little cells? Put a layer of black. Yeah, black. That's gonna be enough paint. So let's just lift it up just a little bit to let the paint come out of the bottom. This is good. Yeah, and we'll kind of just twist and twirl it. We twist it a little bit over here. And this part I'm totally going to get off. That's fine. All right, so let's torch it. Yeah, we'll get we'll get rid of we'll dump that off the edge. Mm. But this this looks awesome. Except for the like the prison that I accidentally messed up. It actually looks pretty good because really? it, yeah, I like the little Prussian. Oh, okay. Don't look over there. First, let's get rid of this. All right, so maybe you want to hook what you want to keep around here. Yeah, since you're already there, hook it. Okay. Grab it. And then we'll do the other corners. Okay, so hook. A little, oh, yeah. oh, easy. <laughs> too fast, too fast. Easy. Okay, you're almost there. So just get it over the. Good, good, good. Okay, now bring it back. I'm really excited. <laughs> Kayla's a little excited. I'm All excited. Right. So back, good, good, good. So you want to just do the other good. corner? This, okay. this time, let's walk it over. Walk like it this. down, back and forth. Yes. Because we don't want to run out of paint. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be if okay. If we have a little bit of negative space, that's fine too. Yeah. All right. We totally, of course, you can't wanna, end it off like you this. You want to flip it around now? Yeah. Okay, turn it around. And we're using, and again, we're holding the back, and the back is covered with tape, and we don't need, and we don't need the back covered with tape. Oh, you want to get oh, that off this. first? Yeah. Since you're there? Okay, you're kind of already. 
paint is already over there. Oh, the napkin wallpaper. So, you like everything about that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Are you sure your paint is in Center. the middle? I think so. And so, you like it just like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think it looks good. So, Mommy will clean up. When your edges are fine, I'll clean up just a little bit the corners. Yeah, just the scrape corners. scrape the bottoms. And then we'll leave it just like that. Yep. All right. That looks great, baby. Thank you. All right. We'll bring you in for a close-up. Awesome. Yeah, so here we are up close. <laughs> and the colors are beautiful. And all the lights are on. Well, the lights are on, yeah. Every single one. But she's got some nice looking cells. <laughs> Thank you. The sapphire metallic. You can see the turquoise green cells. And the sapphire we got recently. Yeah. It isn't that old because we just got and it. It's a hard few to days tell ago. what the interference blue does, but maybe that's it right there. Like this whitish part. Yeah, like the little. Because it doesn't look like it's shining white, like the silver. Right. So it looks like it's just a white, so I think that is the interference blue. Maybe. We've never actually used interference glue, so I don't know what it does. Yeah. It almost looks like it's supposed to cause a color shift of some kind. Yeah, because if you see it, if you look at the color from Olden's clear, closely, you see it's all white when it's not in shimmer. Right. Well, we're gonna turn the we're gonna turn the lights off and and see if we can catch the shimmer. Yeah. Okay. So here we are with the studio lights off. And the camera flash on. And the normal light off. Right. So this area over here, I think, is where the most of the interference blue is because it's that light color that kind of is mixing with the turquoise green. To me, I thought that was silver. Maybe. It, no, that's silver. That's silver. Oh. Those little two little squiggles. Yeah. This, I think, is the interference. Yeah, That's we have a lot cool. of shimmers. Yeah, like right there, you can see. These little cells are cute. Yeah, they're little tiny, tiny. There's cute little cells all over the. Look at that little one. It's turquoise green inside of the sapphire. That is awesome. <laughs> I did a good job for my first try. You did. Look at all the shimmers. They're like white shimmers. There's, there's lots of shimmers. And there's blue oh, look at, shimmers and look too. Look at this lace. Like, that's kind of like lacy. Yeah, or sort just, of like lace. Just lots of cells. Thank <laughs> you. Wow. I am thoroughly impressed. Thank you. With Kayla's work. Excellent job. At least it wasn't like the other one that had cells all over it. Yeah. All right. So Mommy's is up next. Yeah. Okay, everyone. I'm back. Now it's Mommy's turn. So today I'm going to be working on a small 8 by 10 inch um, gallery wrapped level 3 artist loft canvas. I've gone ahead and painted the edges black. Um, I'm going to do a flip cup with two cups and I'm going to use black as my flow extender. So just in case I don't completely tilt everything off, I have some black there and I can touch it up later. Um, I'm going to be using the same colors that Kayla used, which is the Deco Water Americana Decor Metallics in Sterling Silver and sa uh, Deep Sapphire, the Grumbacher Academy Acrylic in Turquoise Green, the Liquitex Professional in Prussian Blue, and the Golden Interference Blue. And I'm going to be doing two 
dirty cup flip cups. <laughs> so I think for my kind of base color, I want to use the turquoise green. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the bottom of each cup. Okay, uh, then I'm going to drop a little bit of silver in. So these paints, I didn't water down any further. They're just 50% flow troll, 25% water, 25% paint. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the turquoise green in because I just want that to be my base. Okay. So I'm going to drop in some silver. Not too much because the deco art metallics tend to sell up pretty well, pretty well. All right, and then I'm gonna drop some of the Prussian blue. And then some of the interference blue. This looks so pretty just in the cup. There's no way you're going to be able to see this, but maybe if I get it in the light, it's just so shimmery. It's almost like you can see a little hint of purple. It's very cool. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm going to drop this in. I don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to find out. All right, and then some of the deep sapphire. So for this size canvas, I only need about four ounces of paint. Actually, not even that much. So if we have a little bit more, that's fine. I have my black flow extender as well. All right, let's just do a little more touch of the turquoise green here. Trying to make these cups even. What do I have left? Okay. All right, I think that should be enough paint. So, I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and very carefully and quickly flip this cup. Oh, that one was a little messy. Ah, oh, that was a good one. That's how every flip cup should be. All right, so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to let the paints kind of intermingle with each other. Um, and then we'll I'm gonna come back and I'll flip them. Okay, I'm back. It's been a couple of minutes. Hopefully all the colors have blended, intermingled with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the cup back fast <laughs> and hopefully spread the paint out evenly from top to bottom. We'll see how it goes. Okay, ready? One, two, flip. Yeah, that was good. Definitely have a lot of paint. That's okay. Okay, one, I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to the middle. One, two, flip. All right. That one was a little more top heavy, but that's okay. So I'm loving the striping. It looks awesome. Um, I'm gonna torch it. Pop the bubbles and I'm going to use my black flow extender just a little bit around the edges and in the corners.
to figure out how I want to tilt this. What do I like? Um, that I'm definitely going to get rid of. So that will be my last corner. I think I want to go over this edge first. So go back and forth a little bit. Stretch it out. See if I can get any cells. center and we'll go to this corner next there's a lot of paint on here guys <laughs> a lot of paint clear this whole part Let's turn it around and kind of move it back and forth a little bit. Let's go over this corner. I want to get this black off, but I got to bring the paint back down to where it is focused in this area and this should then just go off the side. Okay. I'm not used to working with the gallery wraps, so I have to keep in mind that I have a lot of area on the sides to cover. You can kind of help the flow a little bit, pulling the paint down. And I'm going to use my little push pins here so that I can hold on and hopefully not mess up my edges too much. Sorry, you guys can't see. <laughs> okay. So that looks really cool. So it's just a matter of, I want to come over this. I want to come off this side a little bit. that's it I'm really liking it I like the way this is kind of flowing right towards the center so I'm gonna leave it like this touch up my edges and then I will bring you in for a close-up thanks guys Bye. so just real quick I wanted to show you guys what the inside of the cup looks like so if you have paint in the bottom of the cup still you can use that to touch up your edges because it's gonna pretty much match the colors on the canvas. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the leftover paint from the cup and touch up my edges. Okay guys, so I've done my best to touch up my edges. <laughs> my corners are now dripping because I poured paint over them. But I just wanted to point out when you have an area like this, I'm trying to focus on it. 
Um, the easiest way to get rid of that dead spot is just to poke it with your finger. Poke it, poke it, poke it. And then it goes away. Nice. Little tip I learned from one of the best. All right, and here's the rest. So I really like the way this came out. The colors are beautiful. There's lots of nice shimmer. There are some nice looking cells that follow right along this path of turquoise. Cool looking multicolored cells. I'm trying to focus, there we go. So little cells within a cell. So cool. Over here too, little half colored cells. That's a cool looking one right there. So I really like the way this piece came out. It's very shimmery. And I just, I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. Sorry, getting used to the filming. All right, let's turn the lights off and see what, how it shimmers. All right. So here we are with the lights off. Let's see if we can catch some of the shimmer. The shimmer in there. And let's see over here, some shimmer. Yep, nice shimmer. So that that's all from the DecoArt yeah. Metallics. The DecoArt is very shiny. It's very shimmery. I don't see it all the time. I was just watching. You cannot see. You can see Kayla is very talkative. Yes, I am very talkative. And she's know. very excited to be filming. Again. So, yeah, so there it is again. The finished piece. I love it. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.